Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am out with my two frosty Easter bunnies, and uh, well, it's Easter. Happy Easter. April 12th, 2020, mid-April, a beautiful spring day, as you can see, and uh, we're gonna get a bit of a big old spring snowstorm. The forecast is calling for up to 25 inches, and right now is only the beginning. So tonight we are gonna be spending the night in the hot tent. I'm bringing out the hot tent because we are supposed to get at the peak of the storm, which is tomorrow morning. It's supposed to be really crazy tonight. Um, it's gonna be 30 mile an hour winds sustained and gusts up to, to 40 and 50. So it's gonna get pretty crazy windy. So I got the hot tent. I don't wanna be in the trees in case the tree tops snap off. So we're gonna find somewhere that's nice and open. I'm gonna set up the hot tent, get it as super secure, and then we're gonna get a bunch of firewood and we're gonna be super cozy tonight. So we've got a little bit more walking around and searching for, what are you guys doing? But yeah, we've got a little bit more cruising to do. We're gonna cook up some delicious campfire food and uh, yeah, let's get to it. All right, boys, let's go. Okay, this looks about as perfect spot as any. So like I said, winds are supposed to be up to 30 sustained tomorrow morning, early, and uh, we're supposed to get up to 25 inches. Only time will tell uh, how much snow we get and how crazy the winds get. But as you can see, the spot we're in now, we're really open, right out in the open. So the reason I'm doing this, two reasons. What are you guys doing? Okay, okay, okay. Like I said, we don't have to worry at all about trees falling on us from blowing over. And, uh, well, Monty enjoys it. That's the other reason. He's excited about it. So, uh, the only negative side to this is that, uh, we're going to be out in the wind and in the snow. When I usually, when sometimes I'll go in the forest, like right in the thick of the trees, but I've, I don't really go camping when it's as windy as it's gonna be. So I wanna be extra safe. I don't wanna have a tree land on me. Wind is probably the one thing that makes me the most worried about going in the woods. Is windy trees falling over that you can't predict. You know, that's, that's the scary stuff. So first things first, we've got a nice packed layer. I'm gonna stamp out the ground here, get it flattened out. I'm sweating, it's warm. It's very warm. It's like 34 right now. It's supposed to get, let's see. I think it's gonna get down to teens maybe with all the wind chill, probably even colder. So we wanna really secure this tent. And these guys like the open area so they can run around like crazy. But uh, it seems as though we've got a swamp right next to us so I don't wanna dig down. I just wanna make sure that the ground is water. And it's already pretty flat. not bark while I march and make a flat spot. He's so heavy. But hey, your booty's so dense. I can't do it. What are you two sneakers doing over there? What are you sneakers doing? Okay, this is pretty good. Come on, T. 
stop that. Okay, okay. All right. Okay, okay. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. Let's simmer down. Let's simmer down. Um, we have got four hours of light left. I wanted to, I, got a, I don't know if I already mentioned this, but we got a medium start, not a late start today. Because I wanted to beat the storm and get set up before it got crazy. It's not even supposed to be snowing yet. It wasn't supposed to snow for another two hours. That's when it's really supposed to start. Things are supposed to start picking up. So who knows, we're gonna get more snow. I don't know, lots of snow coming. Anyways, next step we gotta do before I get the tent out or anything is I need a bunch of stakes because we're not gonna be tying up to any trees or anything. I've got, I brought out the big hot tent and we're gonna need six large ground poles to tie out the level corners to. And then we're gonna need six ground stakes. Or wait, no, one, two, three, four, five, eight large uh, corner poles to tie out to. And then eight ground stakes if we wanna be thorough. And I want, I want nice uh, stakes today. So anyways, it is time. I'm gonna put this next to this tree here. It's time to start collecting some wood. Oh, and if I didn't mention this already, this is probably the riskiest I've ever been with my camera because like I said, it is warm out for a uh, snowstorm and the, the snow is wet and melty. It's about 34 degrees Fahrenheit, which is one or two Celsius. So the snow is kind of melting as it's hitting my camera. So it's gonna get nice and wet then it's gonna freeze when it gets colder. Then we're gonna bring it in the hot tent and it's gonna get melted and wet. Then we're gonna bring it out to do some more shots and it's gonna get snow, wet, frozen, back inside the hot tent and melted. Who knows if it'll survive? If it does, I'll really love this camera. But I got the GoPros back up in case that thing don't make it. Monty, what you doing? So we need the ax and the saw next. Oh, and another thing I wanted to mention quick, this sled is so heavy. Whenever I bring out the big hot tent, man, it's a heavy sled, but it's so much easier to drag since it's been melty and the snow isn't deep right now. It's just got a hard crusty layer. But tomorrow on the way out, it's gonna be much more difficult than it was coming in. Because uh, yeah, we're gonna have a fresh foot or two of snow on the ground. Let's go, boys. Come on. Come on, Monty. You too. Come on, little doggy. Get a dog, little doggy. Okay. So, um, I've camped in this forest before, and there's not a lot of hardwoods. So, finding sturdy stakes, I'm gonna have to get solid pine, and uh, this one's popple. I think, yeah. But uh, one thing I want to mention is I never take down green trees. I never. They're always dead. Dead standing. But this right here is a uh, snapped off green branch. And this broke right off this tree. You can see it's, it's hanging on by a thread. So this is, this is not a part of the tree. This is dead. Uh, this ain't gonna make it. So what I'm gonna do is take some stakes from this down part here. And I'll show you what I mean. These are gonna be my uh, bottom stakes. So let's just cut one and I'll show you what I'm looking for. Watch out, Rugs. Watch out. I know you're a stinker. So for the stakes on the ground, this is what I'm looking for, exactly this right here. Um, this is basically just a Y branch, and I cut it off the top. This is just to pound down a little bit. I'll flatten this out. But anyways, what I'm gonna do is got a natural hook here. So I'll just put it through the loop, pound it right into the ground, and it'll hold it in place very well. So I need eight of these. And when I can find green branches, they'll take a little more abuse than the dead stuff. So I'm gonna get as many as I can off here, and uh, we'll hopefully get a few more. See, the roofs here is a peculiar critter. He, uh, if I get firewood or anything, he is going to chew it. So I have to get him a nice, suitable stick that can be designated his stick. So he won't be, he almost just chewed apart that stake. Like within a couple seconds, just went for it. He's a little monster. So, we got you a nice stick here, Oaks. You don't chew my steaks, okay? You promise? That's a good boy. There you go. Now, Monty, my guess is that he's back by camp somewhere. He's, that's a 
what Monty likes to do. Another source of green branches you don't gotta cut down. This is just this is just snapped off the tree here. So we'll take that. The green stuff makes the best stakes. So we'll be able to pound them down harder. This looks like some more. Yeah. Another couple of branches. Perfect. Bring these back. Look at this frosty bunny. Me and Rugs are out collecting all the materials to make camp and Monty's just like, whoop, I know where we're camping tonight, so uh I'll just stay here. You guys uh you guys go do all that work. Okay? I can't be bothered by that kind of stuff. I'm just gonna relax. Okay, we've gathered up a bunch of materials. Snow is starting to come down. Visibility is getting reduced. Storm's starting to come on now. Come on now. Come on now. It's come on now. Come on, come coming on now. Come come on now. Anyways, we have plenty of materials here. A bunch of dead stuff, some green stuff that was dead, you know. You know how we're respect, respecting the nature. You gotta respect mother nature. Um, so I'm gonna start cutting this all up, seeing if we can get our eight posts and our eight stakes. And Ruger is just going to probably, I'm gonna probably put this stuff under a tarp because he'll just steal it. He's a thief. Okay, so I've got all my posts here. I think I've got uh, nine of them. Got some extra, or one extra, and then I've got, I believe, nine stakes as well because this one is a little big. But um, we're gonna set this thing up now. Now some of these are short, some of them are a little bit longer, some of them are green, some are dead. Uh, if any of them don't work, I can just go grab another one. It won't be a big deal. But I've got definitely at least five or six super sturdy ones from some seasoned wood. There's one that's. This one's maybe questionable, but that's why I got an extra one. But anyways, let's set this bad boy up. All right, boys, I gotta set up the tent now, okay? All right, so the wind is supposed to come from northwest. This way, it's supposed to come from this way, mostly. So we're gonna set up our tent facing this way. 
So I'm gonna stomp down the perimeter just to be sure we get a nice flat spot. Okay. Okay, Monty. Okay, I get ya. I get ya. I get you, mister. Okay. Simmer down. Stop it. Okay, Monty, that's enough. That's enough. Hey. Hey, mister. Hey, you don't come on me like that. Now, I did have the both the tents sitting right next to each other, and this one felt a little bit heavier, so let's just hope that this is the 10 by 10. Otherwise, we're gonna get a little cramped. Okay, where do we want this? Right here. Oops, sorry, man, you watch out. I guess it doesn't really matter for wind purposes. Ruger <laughs> just wants to constantly fetch. But when we're coming outside, I don't want the wind blasting us in the face when we got the door open, so that's why we're gonna turn it around. It probably won't matter because the wind's gonna swirl. But, you know. Okay. Now the key I've learned, one little trick, is to not pull it too tight when you're doing these corners. You don't want it super tight, just nice and just, just a little taut. Because then it, I think, the last time when me and Funk went out, it made it a little bit better. Okay, Rubes, there's no need to act so dramatic, okay? up did you? You better not have mister. Okay. Now we got to put up the center pole. It's nice having this extendable center pole and I got this little plate to put down on the bottom. It works really nicely, it makes for a quick setup. Nice and taut. Now we gotta put the stakes on the outside and see how sturdy and straight she is. A little too. Okay, so you're, I can tell by pulling already, it's a little too tight, the, the center pole, so I have to uh, go down to the next mark on my pole here. So I've already got loops tied to all the corners. So all I gotta do is slip the log in. And then pull the corner to where I want it. And then pound it in.
I'm going to re put the pole up again because it seems like it's a little loose. Boys, huh? Oh, she ain't going anywhere. She's nice and sturdy. Oh yeah. No, the wall is it's uh it's sturdy and she ain't gonna go anywhere. She's just she should ah, she should withstand some pretty good winds. But uh the walls aren't perfectly straight up and down because the center spikes I pull them a little bit out. Look at you frosty bunny. Look at you frosty bunny. But uh that's okay. So the walls are just gonna be hair slanted right here, right here, but it's not a big deal. We got plenty of room. Let's get the stove set up and be done with it. Oh, kid. Okay, so like I said, I've got two pieces of wood here, two logs. Um, these are to go under the foot pegs of the uh, stove here. I pound them into the snow because as we get, how rude. Anyways, so as we, you know, hot tent, and we're, we're, we didn't dig down to the ground, we're on the snow, um, it'll slightly melt and get hard on the bottom. So you put these logs in here so that if it melts a little too much, the stove doesn't shift, because those metal legs will probably go right down and they'll sink in the snow good. So I'm gonna put these in here, pound them in, get this set up. Don't worry, Rooks, we'll play more when we're all set up. Gotta get us a shelter, okay? Another question I often get asked in my other hot tent videos is why don't I have a floor bottom in this tent? I don't ah. use a floor bottom. And the reason is, is because I usually got these fluffy doggies here, and they're in and out, 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 and they get covered in snow. So if I have a tarp or something on the ground, and they go outside, get covered in snow, come back in, shake it off in the tent, it melts, turns to water. They go outside, get covered in snow, come back in, shake it off, turns to water. We're gonna just get pooling. And if you just let the floor be snow, it just kind of absorbs and freezes, and it's not really slushy or anything. It's just kind of smooth, um, it's just smooth ground. I just realized I forgot something major for today. I don't even know how we're gonna be able to finish the night. That's what I'm thinking, Rugs. I forgot my hot tent Crocs. <sighs> oh well, we'll just have to live with the decisions I've made. Right, Rugs? I don't normally use a spark arrestor, but it is snowing a lot tonight, so we're gonna throw this in there just to help, because it's got a little screen, it'll help with wind, push it in a little bit, and just moisture coming in and whatnot. So we're gonna throw this on there. We're just gonna have to check it before we go to bed, because the first time I used the hot tent, um, I let this thing go for two days and I burnt pine, and it got clogged up, and it started getting smoky in the tent a little bit. 
So uh, we're just gonna check it throughout the night, check it before bed. I'll just keep an eye on it. But uh, yeah, we're all set up. The hot tent is officially set up. Feels good, boys. All right, so we're all set up. Um, now all we really need to do, we don't got anything set up inside, but we just need some firewood and a lot of it. So as I said, I have camped in this forest, not, not this area, right? Not right here, but this forest. Forests are big, okay? Okay, but anyways, like I said, there's a lot of pine, dead pine, not a ton of hardwood. There are hardwoods, they're just not dead, they're alive, they're, they're happy. So this isn't a big hardwood forest. So we're gonna find lots of pine. We're gonna do our best to get seasoned pine. Cause if you have that dead fluffy stuff, which I'll show you later, I'll show you a comparison. So you know what I'm talking about when I'm, when I'm referring to dead fluffy pine, punky stuff versus nice seasoned pine. Um, since there's gonna be high winds, it's, this stove is gonna burn through a lot more wood than if it was just a calm day. And hardwoods, you can use, a, you can burn, those burn a lot, lot longer than these pines. So these pines are gonna burn up quick. So we're gonna need a big old pile of firewood for the night. And especially if I can't find any seasoned wood, we are gonna need a lot. So I'm gonna do my best to find a bunch of seasoned, seasoned pine. But anyways, we'll show you the difference. But boys, it is time to collect firewood. Come on. All right. We are so cutting the outs. So cutting the outs. So cutting the outs. So cutting the so cut outs. So cut and out. I know, I know. Watch out, Rugus. Okay, so I've still got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven big pieces of firewood to process up. I think there's another big one around somewhere. Anyways, I got some split. Um, now I'm gonna go get some sticks, some kindling. I've got birch bark in my pocket. I'm only gonna use a little bit, but I'm gonna go get some tiny, tiny little twigs and then some sticks to spark up a fire because we 
have got about an hour and 20 minutes of light left. So what I'm gonna do is get this fire going. We're gonna give the boys a mattress in there because you got Frosty Bunny Monty. I don't know if you can see him. He's right here, he's kind of camouflaged. There you go, now you should be able to see him. He has been covered in snow. Ruger's been, Ruger ain't gonna go sit in the tent, but I think Monty would appreciate a nice comfy spot. That's just the way, that's just, that's just who he is inside. He likes comfy cozy. So yeah, we're gonna get a fire started, start getting it warm because we're starting to get accumulation on here and a fire will keep this just melted and off here. And then I'm gonna continue processing right up until dark. And I'll probably, we'll see how big the firewood pile is. I'll get this all done before dark, but we'll see how big this pile is uh, when I'm all done with it and see if it's gonna be enough for the night. I'm gonna go get some sticks and let's spark her up. Okay, two things I want to say really quickly before we uh, start this fire up is, first off, this is not going to be all the birch bark I got. I've got enough birch bark, kindling twigs, oops, kindling twigs here. As you can see, these are my kindling twigs. And then normal sticks right here to start about three or four fires. I'm going to use as little materials as possible to start this fire. So I'm going to use about a quarter of my kindling, a quarter of my sticks, and a quarter of my birch bark because I, it, just in case, this is a storm we got going on, just in case anything happens, I wanna be able to start another fire in case it goes out. And the other thing I wanted to say is, this fire steel I have right here, look at how skinny this thing is. This is the first fire steel I ever got. Now, I've used other fire steels along the way, but um, for about three years now, I've still been able to get fires from this fire steel. This is the one you see me use most of the time. That's why I love these things. So anyways, let's spark this up. being difficult. It's being very difficult. Ain't gonna last forever if I keep doing this. There we go. might notice that this isn't the normal sleeping pad I bring out. And uh, well, there's a reason for that. Yeah, it's been a bad bad year for a sleeping pad or bad couple years. Um so we're running up, we're running through the reserve, so I got this big one here and we ain't doing any more battling with Monty for the remainder of the winter. Maybe once we get into some some canoe camp and we'll see, but for now we gotta give him a spot to lay down anyways. Okay boys, come here Monty. Come here. Come here puppy, hi. It's not to fight, it's just to lay down on.
Rugus Tugus Botbadugus is a peculiar creature. It sits in the snow in a winter storm, and despite its need for survival and safety and shelter, it waits for something more pressing. What it is waiting for is someone to throw him the stick. You see, the Rugus' key to survival is constant play and stick throwing. The Montus Picantus, on the other hand, is a quite different creature altogether. His necessities are comfiness. Above all else, he gets the comfiest spot to plop his big fluffy booty down and enjoy himself. Here you go, bud. All right, Ruger, it's Monty's turn. All right, leave it. Monty's turn. Ready, Monty? Go ahead. Good boy, Ruger, you're such a good boy. Oh, well, he's gonna go steal it now. <laughs> See, Ruger's trying to give Monty turns. We're here, boys. Okay, so got a nice pile of firewood to here to process up. Hopefully, it'll be enough. I got some nice seasoned pine here. A couple of nice pieces. And I'll still show you that comparison in a minute here when I'm all done. Well, the wind's starting to pick up. This guy ain't slowing down. He ain't gonna stop wanting the stick until we're in there. Listen, to Rugus, bring me that stick. Rugus, are you a good boy? Do you like winter camping? Monty? Frostbeard the Great, do you like having your brother out here winter camping? It's like, I mean, I love the company, but he just, he's a stick hog, if you ask me. Now that's some seasoned pine right there. Oh, my arm's getting tired. Oh yeah, a little bit of punkiness to it. Oh, that's a good piece. Here, I'll show you this. This one right here, 
This is uh, the season stuff right here, and this is the punky stuff. You can see it's uh, foamy looking. This one's solid. This one's kind of, can you even see that? And I'll zoom in. This one right here, this one's the uh, seasoned firewood. This is what we want. Nice and dense, it'll burn longer. This is the foamy stuff. Oh, Rugs, you're blocking my view. <laughs> Over here, Rugs. Yeah, so this one is not what we want. We got, so, we got like, I would say like 15 logs of this, but a lot of it's more like this. This is the most dense stuff, uh, solid stuff. I'm gonna have to split this because it's kind of big, but I'm gonna keep cutting away. We're gonna let the night creep in. Once all the firewood is done and ready, this pile here, we are going to pile it inside the tent, and then I'm probably not gonna leave the tent for the rest of the night. Unless I have to go to the bathroom. Just crazy for the stick. Right, Rubes? Oh, just be careful. Monty's ready to go in the tent. I've offered him to go in there. He's waiting for me. So as you can see, I've got a nice pile here. Just a few more pieces to split. And then we are going inside that tent. And it is relax time. Plenty of firewood. We should have quite the pile. Oh, Rugus. Isn't life so hard, Rugus? You know, you get taken out into the woods, and you get thrown the stick for hours, and you know, a break of two seconds, and it's just, it's too much. I know, it's too much, I know. Bring it here, Rooks, bring me that stick, bring it here. I'll throw it, I'll keep throwing it, you bring it right to me. Bring it here, come on, bring it here, Rooks, right here. I can see you digging at it, come on, bring it right here, Rooks. Bring it here, yeah, good boy, come on. You want it thrown, you bring it right to me. That's the deal. I know it seems like I've been processing firewood for hours, and that's because I have. <laughs> We've got this mountain here. Let's stack it in the tent and see what it looks like. <sighs> okay, that should do it. That should get us through the night, I think. <laughs> Just a little, a little bit of firewood there. A little bit. Okay, frosty bunnies, frosty Easter bunnies, come here. Come on, come here. Come on, send a brush off. We got towels, come here, Monty. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Monty, 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 come, 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 get that snow. Let me get that snow. All right, boys, let's go inside the tent. Go ahead, go lay down, go lay down. It's time to settle in. And you wet, stinky doggies. This bad boy off. Oh. oh, this thing is wet. Okay. Oh, oh. 
Oh, now that feels nice. Hi, boys. It's still snowing out there. Okay. We are going to start drying these gloves off. Oh, probably add a little more. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. So, you're going to probably be seeing me in my long underwear tonight. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> because, okay, wait, 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 wait. Stay there, Rooks. Yeah, because this stuff's all soaked. We're going to dry it out. But first, we got to towel dry the Rooks and the Monty because they're going to, yeah, they're just going to get me wet. I don't want that. Okay. One at a time, one at a time. All right, Rooks, come over here. Come here. All right, stay there, stay there. Stay there. He's still a little... Come here. Come here, Monty. Come here. I bet you need to defrost the first of all. Some more, too. Oh. Wait, may stay in there. Oh, yeah, there's... You like that, don't you? Don't you? Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna add a little bit more wood in the fire. I want it to get nice and toasty in here. We gotta get real warm, okay? Yeah, Ruggs is definitely gonna need to be let outside. He was eating so much snow. It's not dropped in the best right now. So we gotta open up these extra vents here. Need a little airflow in here. Okay, got one right there. We're gonna open a little crack at the top of the door. Need a little more airflow. Oh! All right, we're taking these snow pants off here. I'm gonna keep my boots on because, like I said, I forgot my Crocs. Dang it! Okay, we are relaxed now. You know the only thing that would make this better, boys? You guys might have an, uh, an idea. An ice cold. Chug of 2% milk. <sighs> I just remembered. I brought out these guys a little something for their pre-dinner snack. Oh, they sense it. So yeah, as far as like dental hygiene goes for the boys, our vet recommended these uh, Aura Vets. Or one a day, they're not very cheap, but these are pretty much the only denty thing we give them. One a day, like I said, they're not very cheap. So sometimes we run out, we're just like, eh, but they love them. But they're good for them. They're good for their teeth at least. You boys want a treat? You guys deserve a treat? Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Good boys. So anyways, these boys are defrosting. We're doing good. Um, the fire is toasty. We are getting nice and warm in here. I can hear the snow, snow, I can hear the snow hitting the tarp. It's still raging on. So, uh, yeah. It's gonna be it's gonna be fun because I'm definitely having to knock off the snow. I'm still gonna have to knock it or whack it, whack it off <laughs> throughout the night. But anyways, yeah, it's still gonna need to come off as it gets really toasty in here. This will all melt, but these sides it's piling up on these walls, making it kind of seem smaller in here. But anyways, oh, so for those of you that watched my last video. Uh, last week's video um, I was talking about the spring snowstorm coming and I saw in the forecast that it said snow but it didn't say like snow like it's happening right now and this just like in the past 48 hours someone was just like do you see how crazy it's gonna snow and I look and I was like oh my gosh it really is gonna snow we got a spring snowstorm so here it is anywho um I mentioned I was going on a two-week cleanse because I have been eating ramen like a creature. Not just ramen, but yeah, I've just been naughty with the, the junk ever since this whole thing's been going on in the whole world. You know, eating a lot of my pantry's just junk. 
So that two week cleanse is starting after this video. So we are eating delicious tonight and we're having a delicious breakfast and I brought out a few beers. So I'm gonna crack one of those open. The, the, the milk was just a silly. <laughs> I'm gonna sip on a beer. I'm just gonna sip on it nice and slow boys. So yeah, went to the grocery store. I was talking about that in my last video, how uh, I've just been trying to go every two weeks and just stocking up. Well, I went today, this morning, and I haven't been to the grocery store in a week and a half, two weeks, somewhere around there, something. It's been a minute. And it was so creepy. <laughs> it was eerie. Um, it was just like, you know, the lines and just no, no one's talking. And it was just the things talking about what's going on over the megaphone and everyone's wearing masks. And it was just, it was definitely eerie. Definitely held my breath and just got out of there. <laughs> got my stuff and got out of there. So yeah, it's, that's what it is. It's all a big poop. <laughs> so let's crack a cold beer. Sip on this. Oh yeah. These boys are tired. Anyways, I'm not going to jibber jabber for too much longer. Uh, we are going to just relax for a minute. I'm going to sip about a third of my beer down. And then we're going to get preparing dinner. So what we're having for dinner today is homemade spaghetti. Oh yeah, I have never made spaghetti before out in the woods. <laughs> so it's gonna be good. So the first things first, I've got to brown some beef to start the spaghetti, and then we're gonna start preparing some stuff. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Okay, let's get that pan on there. Oh yeah, okay. And we're gonna start with browning up our beef. Ah. This is 93% lean beef, half a pound. So um, I'm gonna plan on leaving the grease in there there's not gonna be much at all. So now we've got a pair of couple of veggies to add in. Okay, so the good news and the bad news. The good news is that we are about to start preparing dinner. It's gonna be delicious. The bad news is that our DSLR, since we went from getting it completely soaking wet to inside a hot tent, is completely fogged up. You cannot see anything but white. It looks just like, it's just white. <laughs> so until that um, clears up, I've got the lens open. We are stuck on GoPro, just like the good old days when I started my channel. I started this channel on GoPro only. So we are going GoPro. So we are dicing up some white onion to add to our spaghetti. This is about as close up as I can get this white onion. It's not my normal close up like the DSLR zoom, but it's gonna have to do. All right, so we're gonna add this in here. Lots of onions. And then I need a chunk of butter. Chunk of butter to go in there because the beef just, there's no so little fat in it that it just started burning. Okay, a little butter in there. And then we've got some garlic cloves. We're gonna add some fresh garlic to our sketty. Okay, he's gonna dice this up a little bit. We'll have nice big, uh, big chunks of garlic. I don't mind that. Okay, so now this, we're gonna add a little bit of butter, um, our beef and our onions and our garlic. This is gonna go back on the heat and cook and start heating up. We're gonna cook these three ingredients together and the rest we'll add in after the beef is browned up and the onions are cooked down a little bit. So I'm gonna throw this back on the heat 
And then we're gonna prepare up some other veggies. So we've got a red bell pepper we're gonna dice up. Add in there. Well, this is half a red bell pepper. But this is gonna go off to the side for now, like I said. Oops. So we're ready to add it. Then we've got half a green bell pepper. Add that to the pot. Okay, and then we've got Mushrooms. Oh, add that to the pot. Little little bits of smash rooms sprinkled throughout the tent, but that's okay. Okay, let's cook up our other stuff, and then we'll add this stuff in when the meat's all brown. Heat. Yeah, like I said, I put it right over there. There wasn't enough fat. It just burned. So we'll get this sizzling. All right, the boys are looking antsy. I'm gonna let them go out and go potty. Go ahead. Go ahead, Rooks. You guys got about one minute. Go ahead, go outside, go potty. Yeah, go potty. Go potty, go. Go. Hey, you were the antsy one, Monty. What, you realize you don't like it out there? <laughs> Monty spent about five seconds out there. All right, Rooks, come on. Come on. All right, neither of them have to go to the bathroom. They're just smelling the beef cooking and stuff. You know, those turds. All right. Well, this is fun. Just like old times sake. <laughs> right, Monty? You remember? What's that? The heck is that? Chunk of something, I don't know what that is. Anyways, yeah, started this channel on uh, just using a GoPro. Started with the Hero 3. I recorded for years before I ever put anything on YouTube, only using the GoPro. I got really good at, uh, you know, figuring out what, what what's in frame of the GoPro and whatnot. Oh, we got a little snow coming in. Through that vent hole up there. Ooh, it's getting windy. Ooh, it's gonna be a good storm. But yeah, so we're going back to the classic GoPro. But I do got that light for my camera and it's attached to the tripod. So it's a little bit better than the old ways either way. But these boys are a little antsy. You guys ready for your food to get prepared? All right, we need to get this heat up. The boys are gonna have a little ground venison little bit of ground venison, huh? And some water of half today and half for breakfast. Now, unfortunately, this here ground venison thawed when uh, it was in the, the bag and I brought out a nice baguette to cook with my spaghetti and the blood leaked out into the whole baggie with all my food, and the baguette, about a third of the way, absorbed the blood. Raw venison blood. Yeah. <laughs> so that's not the best thing. Ah, but it could be worse. All right, boys, we're gonna get yours. Get you some water in there. Oh, put a little extra water. There you go. And we'll get yours on there shortly. Mm. Oh yeah. All right, our beef is all browned up. It is time to add the rest of the ingredients. Okay, let's start with some plain tomato sauce. 
our red bell peppers, mushrooms, smash rooms, I mean, and green bell peppers. And we're gonna add in a little black pepper, a little salt, not too much salt, not too little salt, just the right amount of salt. Got some smoked paprika we're gonna add in. A little chunk of dark brown sugar, a little bit of crushed red pepper, just a little bit of basil, just a little bit of oregano. Or that might have been the basil and the other one was the oregano. Either way, little bits of both, you know, just a little bit. Oh yeah, okay. All right, let me come on this side here. Oh yeah. Let's just mix that deliciousness together. Oh yeah, that is gonna be so good. Now we're gonna let this simmer for a little while here. We're gonna get our water boiling for our noodles. Might have wanted to bring out a little extra sauce, but I think it'll it'll get a little bit more liquidy when uh, the peppers cook down a little bit. We're gonna put this off on the back side here so it doesn't simmer too hot too fast. Oh, that's gonna be so good. I'm so hungry. Oh my gosh. I gotta be careful to see if I put it. Watch. It instantly just like starts to boil. So I'm trying to keep it off here for a slow simmer. I'm gonna do a quick little taste test. Lick the spatula. Mmm. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh man, that's good. Okay. We have to get it, uh, our boil of water. Or our, what did I just say? You know what I mean. We gotta get our water boiling. So that we can start cooking soon. Or cook our noodles soon. That's what I mean. Oh my gosh, this sauce. Oh, it looks amazing. It smells amazing. And um, we're going to do a quick little, 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 little taste test here. Green pepper. Well, let's get a little, let's get a little chunk of, there we go. Okay. Mmm. Oh. Oh my gosh. That's got to be some of the best spaghetti I ever made. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I swear it's not because I'm just starving right now. Water isn't boiling fast enough. Come on. I'm gonna wait until there's a few more bubbles and then I'm just gonna add in the noodles because they'll cook. I would like to wait for a rolling boil, but I, I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can do it right now. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry and I want this delicious food now. Oh, Monty, 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 it's gonna be so good. Mm. Monty's just getting antsy. Oh, now Ruger's getting antsy. Ruger, it's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good. Yes, both, all of us. You guys are gonna have venison and pumpkin. I'm gonna have spaghetti with baguette. No, oh, so, so delicious. It's delicious. Everyone's getting antsy. We're all getting antsy. We're all getting antsy. I don't even know. I forgot there was a storm going on. It's so cozy in here. I mean, I can hear the snow falling. But, man, this water can't boil fast enough. Oh, Ruger found a stick. Why, Rooks? So come. Bored. 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 I'm so bored. Monty. Have we found Ruger's voice yet? No. It's hard to top a voice like mine. So... He doesn't have a voice yet. We'll get him one, right? Right? Yep, we will. All right, Monty, come back over here. Lay it down. 
don't worry, everybody's gonna get treats. We're all gonna get treats at the same time. Just, just, just trust me. Trust, trust Dad. I, do I ever not give you treats, Monty? Do I ever not give you treats? No, I always do. I just can't wait for these noodles any longer. We're putting them in. Dang, Nabbit. Yeah, look at these guys inch closer to me. We're putting them in. All right, everyone needs to get back to their proper spots. Lay downs and stuff. Look, I know you're precious. You're both precious. You're both very precious. But we gotta lay down. I'll get you your food, okay? Okay? Okay. Oh, it is boiling. It's boiling. Yes. <laughs> yes. Noodles going in. Spaghetti noodles into the pot. I am now realizing that my amount of spaghetti noodles is very low compared to the sauce. It's okay. We're gonna survive. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it out of this alive. Maybe. Okay. Okay. Okay, so since our, our noodles are boiling, I'm gonna take the boys off here. It's completely cooked. I am going to add their dog food and pumpkin, and I'm gonna mix it and let it start to cool because it is boiling hot right now. They don't like to eat food that burns their mouths, unlike me. I will just put it in, burn my mouth, and just deal with it. They don't like that, so I'm gonna let their start cooling and get theirs prepared. I just need to get this spaghetti sauce. A little stir. Oh, that is just. That's so delightful. It's delightful. Yes. Our sauce is done simmering. Our noodles are getting close. It is time to add the baguette with the chunk missing from the. Well, okay, there's no blood in there. Okay, the chunk missing from the venison blood that's soaked in. Oh, okay, okay. It is about to become reality. Calm yourself. Keep your eye on the prize. Mmm, so hungry. Yes, I am so hungry. Let's see how close these are. Let's do a quick little. They don't seem quite done yet, but we gotta see where they're at. They need another. They're not boiling, but they do need another like four minutes. In that amount of time, we're gonna eat this baguette toasted on both sides, and then we're gonna eat this. Well, hello. It's like a food's almost done miracle, guys. The DSLR is back. Fortunately, um, yeah, I had the lens open all the way and I kept it right next to the ripping hot stove so it got really hot. And uh, yeah, I even took the lens off the camera and just heated it up and get that moisture out. And we've got our DSLR back. We're going to finish up these noodles, finish toasting this baguette, and get it all together. Noodles are done. We're gonna just do the wrong thing and dump out the hot water here and make a big hole. It's okay. It's just gonna be that way. Okay, we've got our noodles. Let's add in our delicious spaghetti sauce. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Two more final ingredients. Let's just get a little, bring up some of them noodles. 
Oops, we lost a little pepper. Oh yeah, it's gonna be so good. Okay, of course, we must add some freshly grated Parmesan cheese because yes, yes, yes. Might as well just, let's just add it all. Yeah, okay. Ooh, it's gonna be so good. Oh my gosh. Let's add in this hot crispy bread. And that ladies and gentlemen, is some delicious spaghetti. Oh yeah, let's eat. Oh, this is the, oh jeez, oh jeez. Oh. oh, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. I am so excited for food right now. I am just like a, just young boy on Christmas morning. And this is my present. This is the thing Santa brought right now. Right? <laughs> Gets me every time. Okay. Let's dive into this little pot of happiness. Let's mix in some of this cheese. Probably need some more firewood in that stove soon. But, uh... Here's a more pressing thing. What is that? Okay. So good. It's a little spicy. I will say, <clears throat> but it's delicious. The spice is just getting to me. You go half teaspoon of crushed red. Might as well be a, a, a Carolina Reaper pepper for me. This is full, so I've been a long time. This guy thinks if he creeps closer to me. No. <laughs> no. You guys think that you creep closer to me, you're getting more food. You ate enough to make you sick. I ate enough to make me sick. We're good. You don't need the bag. Don't let them fool you. Do not let them fool you. They got more than they should have gotten. 
And now they're just being little greedy turds. Little greedy, greedy turd nuggets. Both of ya. I see ya. I know ya. Oh, this guy's drooling. We're gonna grow this little organ right here. Belly. I'm very full. And uh it's beautiful living in, but we are gonna get I'm just gonna I'm just gonna I just need to sit here for a minute and think. Full stomach. Anyways, I'm gonna sit here and think and then I'll check back in with you guys and I'm ready for bed. Okay. <sighs> Ooh. I'm put my rear over in the corner, Rugs. Here, Monty. Rugs is gonna want to snuggle on me all night. He just does that. That's that's the Rugs. He likes to snuggle. All right, lay down, Rugs. Lay it down. Lay it down, buddy. Yeah, lay it down. Oh, hi. You coming to snuggle closer? Yeah. I am so satisfied. I am so tired, too. Um, I don't know if I want to admit what time it is. But I will, anyways, because that's who I am. It's one in the morning. We had a very late dinner. <laughs> Did lots of work today. But I am just ready to pass out. I am going to be waking up every hour... Maybe even more often, who knows, to check on the dogs, stoke the fire with wood because it's pine, so I'll have to get up more often, and just make sure everything's good, knock off the walls, and just make sure we're all going to just be good. Because we got a storm going on, but this is by far the coziest I have been in a winter storm, out in the middle of it, by far, so I'm just going to pass out. And listen to the sound of the snow and it just falls up so I will catch you guys in the morning. Good night everybody. Rugs, whoa, no, 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 Rugs. Don't you dare. We know what happened last time you got all crawly over my sleeping pad. Oh, so it's been fairly windy. It doesn't seem too crazy. Um, it, uh, there's been some gusts that blow the tent drum pretty dang good, but. Oh, that's just. I can tell you gotta go potty. Oh, let me get my boots on here. Oh, jeez. Dang it. Oh, jeez. That's the first hole I popped in the tent here. Oh. All right, I'll let you out. Oh, there's a. Here's some snow. Oh. Oh. All right, go ahead. Monty, go ahead. Go ahead, Monty. Uh. 
Oh, it's definitely breezy and snowy. It's still snowing. Ooh. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Lay down. It's okay. Every time I call your name, you don't need it to come running over. <laughs> Good boys. Ruger's just so eager. Oh, so I slept pretty great last night. We need to get some more wood in this fire here. Ah. Oh, so as far as wood goes, I overestimated the amount of wood I was gonna need a little bit. <laughs> but that's okay. So we're just gonna warm up for a second here. Um, unfortunately, my new sleeping pet bag there, I touched it against the side of the so stove for a split second and it melted a big hole. So that sucks. I'll just pad it with duct tape or something. So I'll figure it out. Anyways, yeah, we're gonna warm up for a minute here, let this fire get ripping. And then we're probably gonna adventure outside for a minute. And, uh, yeah, let the dogs play for a minute. What do you guys think? You want to fetch this stick? We'll have to find a new one because uh, everything's buried. I think we've got a, at least a foot of snow. We'll warm up and then we're going to head out there for a minute. Fluffy bunnies. Ready? You guys want the stick? What do you want it? You want it, Monty? You want the stick? Go! 
go get it. Ready. Oh, jeez. Ah, jeez. All right, so we just played the stick for a while. It's still snowing and blowing out there. It's kind of sporadic. When I right when I jumped out this morning, it seemed to stop snowing, but then it picked right back up and the wind started blowing. So it's it's still gonna be snowing for quite a few hours. But anywho, before we take off today, we're gonna have ourselves a big old hearty breakfast. And what that is gonna be is bannock and gravy. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make a sausage gravy using that milk that I drank yesterday. And then some a big old bannock patty. And we're gonna feast on that and then just relax, pack everything away in here, and then we'll head out of here. I'm just melting some water. Um, in my pans here and I'm gonna start with some coffee and then once my coffee's chilling we will get cooking up breakfast yep not too happy about that one Okay, let's get making some breakfast here. Start with a chunk of butter. Half pound of hot Jimmy Dean sausage. Oh yeah. Boys. Venison. There we go. All right, now we've got to make some bannock. Okay, this is the most generic bannock recipe there is, pretty much. It's uh, one and a half cups of white all-purpose flour, a half teaspoon of salt, and uh, one tablespoon of baking powder. Now the trick is to make sure you mix all the ingredients together well, and to, when you add this in here, Slowly add water and leave a little reserve uh, of this for if you do add too much water. So we're going to slowly add the water here. We're going to try to make it into a nice patty. Start with that much. See, I go, I get a little too fast. <laughs> when it's all, when it's perfect bannock, it shouldn't be soupy at all. It should be nice and clumpy, but not sticky. You should be able to form it, but it shouldn't stick. Oh, I might have added a little too much water too fast there, but that's why we got the reserve. there a little bit more more of this almost there See how it's not sticking to my hands really? It's a little bit, but that's okay. There's a little bit more flour. There we go, we got a nice little bannock patty. Now I'm just gonna put some butter in here and uh, we're gonna fry this up. Right, make sure you get a little chunk of butter on the bottom side. 
That'll flatten out. Let's get this on the heat. The uh, DSLR has decided it wants to fog up again. So we're going to continue like this. Good to go, Pro. Alright, this is going to have to come over here. Just so we don't burn anything. Static was sticking a little bit. Boys here. All right, there's this. There's is pretty good. I'm gonna break that up with a stick. Let that start cooling. All right, our sausage is all browned up. We're gonna add a little bit more butter. A little bit more butter. It's gonna be a greasy one, but it's gonna be good. And then to our gravy, we're going to add some milk, some black pepper, and just a hair of salt. Not, not really normal because the sausage is already flavored, just a little bit of salt. Well, not too much, not too little, just the right amount. Now it is going to be a little greasy because there's a lot of butter, but that's because we're going to use some flour to thicken it up and you definitely need lots of butter to uh, keep it from uh, clumping too bad. All right, we need to try to flip this bannock here. A little bit more flour to keep the other side from sticking, or butter, whatever. Now let's see if we can go ahead and... Butter under there. This needs to keep cooking for a while. Definitely don't want that to burn. Keep flipping it off and Let's see if I... oh there, see how it's sliding now. Now it'll just flip and stuff really easily. So we just gotta cook at the insides. Let's do a quick flip. Our bag here. Ooh, we gotta be careful. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's coming together nice. Now we're just gonna slowly add little bits of flour and thicken this up because our food is almost ready. So let's just add a little bit of flour here. Put this off to the side and let this start to cool, and it'll it'll thicken up a little bit as it cools. Okay, let's flip this. See where we're at. Oh, all burnt. It's a little. This just needs another minute. So, oh, just we're just gonna do this for one more minute. This is cooling, and then we are ready to eat. Okay, let's pour on our gravy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to eat all that bad. I'll devour this gravy. Okay. Let's eat. Okay boys, go ahead. Ooh, let's just have a sip of my coffee. This is probably not so hot anymore. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Mmm. Not too crazy hot. Uh, but that's okay. We got bannock and gravy. Take a nice big bite of gravy and bannock. 
Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Hot. This is and gravy is one of my all-time favorite breakfast foods, and this is this is as good as it gets. Bannock is almost uh, better. I don't know. Mm. The bannock is cooked perfectly. Mm hmm. There's no ooey gooey. Whoop. The boys got a slightly lighter breakfast because um, after we eat up here I'm going to pick up the tent and uh, they're going to be running around and stuff so I don't want them to have a full stomach and just be running around so we're going to settle for like a half hour here. Ooh. There's a little gust. Okay. So I've only got one more GoPro battery besides the one that's in there, and I think the DSLR is out for the count because I had to spend two hours yesterday, or I don't know, maybe it wasn't two hours. It was a while before that camera heated up to where I could use it again. I think the DSLR is done for the day. So uh, I'm going to shut off that camera here. We are going to, I'm going to finish up breakfast, eat as much as I can. I'm going to eat all the sausage gravy, maybe not all that flour, because that's a lot of flour. Um... We're gonna settle, we're gonna pack up everything in this tent, and then we're gonna quickly pack up out there, and we're gonna get moving here. So yeah, check back in with you guys when I'm all done eating and stuff. <laughs> the DSLR is back. We chilled in there enough time for it to uh, get better. I don't think it likes coming out here, getting covered in snow, going in there and getting warm and just getting water all in there, and then coming back out here and getting covered in snow and going back in there getting warm. Whatever. So anyways, I ate about half that bannock. There's just too much flour, but I ate all that sausage gravy. But we've got to quickly pack up now. It's pretty windy. So, uh, yeah. It's definitely breezy and still snowing.
Monty's ready to leave. He's like, dude, come on, let's just stay. There's so much snow and ice. It's all frozen. I can't get the tent to compact in here very well. It'll take a lot more shaking off. We're gonna have a little bit of a bulky sled on the way out. A little extra weight. It's gonna be fine. Rugs just wants endless stick throwing. Never enough. Never enough. Well, okie dokes, folks. That was a beautiful little wonderful overnighter. It is just gorgeous out. The snow is just falling still. I'd say we got about a foot and a half right around there uh, since it's been snowing yesterday. And it's supposed to keep going till tonight. So I, I don't know if we'll hit quite 25, but it's gonna be close if it keeps snowing like this. Um, so. Yeah, some delicious food, had a blast, got our spring snowstorm as usual, and uh, the only obstacle we have left is to see if I can get home. The roads are going to be pretty rough because when you get on the open road the wind will be worse, and uh, yeah, the road I take to get here is not a road that's plowed very often, so yeah, if I don't if I get stuck and have to do a bunch of walking, you'll see some clips at the end of this video. If everything's good, you'll just see it uploaded, no clips at the end. So I guess that means we're gonna get heading back to the car then. So as always, ladies and gentlemen, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you wanna see more stuff like this, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys at the next video. Let's go, boys. Burger, don't bring that stick. Come on, oh, that's a heavy stuff. Winter Wonderland all over again. But listen to those birds. Hey birds. Is it is it spring? Gotta love that fresh powder. Your snowshoes don't float at all. Oh, this is a lot of work. Are you gonna go? Go ahead, Ruse, let's go, go, go. <laughs> this is so much work. <sighs> Trudging through this fresh powder, there's at least two feet in a lot of spots because of drifts. <sighs> I'm having to take all sorts of breaks. This is the heaviest sled I've ever pulled through the most powder. Oh. 
I'm gonna be exhausted by the time I get back to the truck. This is rough when we picked all that weight up from that snow that froze the tent. Okay, just keep hiking. We made it. The car starts. Road is 100% unplowed. I'm exhausted. I'm gonna kick it into four wheel drive and drive slow and hope that I don't get stuck. It's fluffy so we should be able to plow right through it, but these guys got some major snowballs underneath. They're just gonna have to melt off right now, but you'll find out. This will be the end if there is no stuck truck. So have a good one. Hopefully this is the end. Getting that last camera shot, uh, my tires are slipping off the road. I don't know why it's doing this, but I might be stuck. Oh man, this is not good. I should not have recorded that last clip. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb for doing that. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it right now. Well, as a last ditch effort, I don't have a come along. I'm gonna completely shovel out the bottom of the car completely clear it all out. Maybe someone will come by, I don't think so. There's been no one down this road. I'm gonna just shovel it out and uh, we're gonna really hope that I can get this out. Otherwise I've got a long walk. A long walk. I'm a little nervous. I dug all the way around. I dug down to the dirt. The problem is the road is pure ice. And I, I put dirt around all the tires. Yeah, I put a bunch of dirt. I tried to shove it underneath all the tires. If this don't happen, I don't think I'm getting this truck out by myself. It just keeps slipping off the road. It's got dirt all the ass. Here goes nothing. Oh, come on. Okay, last shot. I'm getting out of here. Oh gosh. Oh man, this is insane. I can't even see at all. Oh, my gosh. I can't see. This is insane. I'm gonna go off the road again. Holy crap. What am I even doing? Oh my gosh. I can't see the road. <laughs> Oh my gosh, if we make it out of this, oh, I don't know, this is a pretty big one. Oh gosh, oh, I'm nervous. 